you probably don't want to befriend people that throw knives at TVs. Just saying. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Kayla and today I'm going to be showing you nine awesome secrets in some of your favorite Roblox games. But before I do, make sure to go ahead and click subscribe. Once you do, comment I subscribe down below and I will pick one lucky person at the end of each month to receive a shout out. Now, let's get on with these secrets. Starting off with our first secret, I'm going to be showing you guys a glitch in the super popular Magnet simulator. Basically, all you have to do for this one is save up enough coins in order to get a pet. Once you purchase a pet, go into your inventory and spam the equip button. You see here that I have two of the mouse pets, but once I spam equip, I can actually equip three. This would work even if I just had one of these pets. Depending on the type of pet that you use, you can actually get up to five as well. I will say, once you've equipped however many, you can actually see the extra ones, but you still collect the amount of coins as if they were there. They might be patching this one super soon as well. It is super OP, so be sure to head on and use it while you still can. Next up, I have not one, but two secrets in the very loved Roblox Jailbreak. Now, personally, I don't play this game all too often, so some of you may know about these already, but I thought they were super cool and definitely worth mentioning for those who may not know. The first one being, if you head into the sewer, which is arguably the best way to escape in my opinion, and instead of going straight into the right to escape, if you actually go straight and take your first left and head down that tunnel, you'll arrive at a little gated off area, and if you look down, you'll find a pizza and some turtle shells. If you love watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, then you'll definitely love this little secret. I just adore the creators of the game for putting this in there, it's so cute and so funny. But if you're not a fan and you actually want a secret that pertains to the actual game, no worries because I have another one for all of you jailbreak fanatics out there. Go ahead and continue outside by following the right path through the sewer. Once out, you'll see this long highway tunnel to your left. Now, say that you had a police officer chasing you and you need a place to hide. Once at the end of this tunnel, you can make a right and there you'll find a waterfall. Swim up that waterfall until you see a little pocket of water. You can actually swim through that and you'll find yourself in a little cave where officers are less likely to find you. Now, continuing on to our fourth secret. This one is on the game Bubblegum Simulator. I will say guys, this one takes a bit of grinding, so if you're not a fan of the game, you might just wanna skip to the next one. But for those interested, once you get started in the game and are able to blow bigger bubbles and jump higher, for this, I went ahead and purchased the ability to blow the infinite sized bubbles. From there, you just need to blow as big of a bubble as you possibly can, and then head over to Candyland. Once you make it to Candyland, your goal is to jump over the hills behind the portals. Now, to do this, you can just blow a big enough bubble to get over the hills, or you can climb up onto the clouds and try to jump from them. From start to finish, this took me about 45 minutes altogether, but I had never played the game before this. There was also a lot of uh, falling off while attempting this. Once you're finally able to land on this little platform, you'll find yourself at a secret hat shop where you can purchase a hat for a slim 100,000 candy. Or you can just buy candy like I did and look! <laughs> we got a happy hat. The fifth and sixth secret I'll be showing you guys today is on one of my all-time favorite Roblox games. Don't make fun of me, I'm a girl, okay? Royal, hi! <laughs> this 
this first one is a glitch, and as far as I know, it's only on the winter map, so definitely check it out before the 1 billion visits update. Which, can we just talk about that for a second? 1 billion visits? That's insane. You go Royal High. Anyways, for this glitch, you'll just need to head to the art room. If you fly to the back of the room on either side, you'll notice that the far back windows have panels that you can stand in. Walk as closely as possible, and then click mood, and then chill. And if you zoom in and out and kind of rotate your character, you can glitch through the window. And then from here, you can take cute screenshots and collect a ton of diamonds. Just from this area, I got over 350, which if you play Royal High, you know is a ton. And then, once you're ready to leave, just do the same glitch to get back through the window. And then that'll lead us to secret number six. From the art room, you just need to go ahead and fly over to the pool area, which can I just say looks gorgeous in this winter update. From here, walk across the icy bridge and you'll find yourself in front of a waterfall. Walk through it and you'll see a little area with the beach chair. On the back wall, you'll see sort of a diamond embedded into the wall. You can actually walk through it and you'll find yourself in a cute secret room. And in this room, you can claim one of three lockers, sleep in one of the clamshell beds that are under the water, like a mermaid, and collect a bunch of diamonds in here as well. And don't forget the ones on the ceiling. Up next is our seventh secret. For this one, we are going to take it over to another one of my all-time favorite games, Work at a Pizza Place. This is actually the first Roblox game I ever played, and it's such a classic in my opinion. Anywho, once you spawn in, go ahead and choose whatever role you'd like to have. I usually pick cashier because it's closer to the front door, but it doesn't really matter. Once you're in the game, walk out the front door and to the left. Walk down a bit, and you'll see this dark patch of bricks on the wall. It was night in the game when I recorded this, so it's definitely a little hard to see, but once you find it, you can actually jump through it, and you'll be brought into this secret little room. From here, you can spy on your coworkers and hide from the manager if you want, but be sure to keep it a secret. Shh. And second to last, number eight. We're gonna head over to the game Murder Mystery, another well-loved classic. For this one, it's actually not in the game itself. This secret is in the lobby. Once you spawn in, go straight into the voting room and up the stairs to the right. You'll see this little bit of the wall that sticks out and you can actually turn sideways, walk through the side, and you'll find yourself in a secret room that you can hang out in in between rounds. Just, uh... Steer clear of this guy. I don't know what he was watching, but you probably don't want to befriend people that throw knives at TVs. Just saying. <laughs> and you guys, this brings us to our last, but not least, secret in Roblox that I will be telling you about today. For this final one, we'll be hopping on Flood Escape 2. This one also taking place in the lobby, but you have to time it correctly. If you look at the painting to your left, different maps will pop up. Once the correct painting that has been chosen to be played pops up, you can actually jump through the painting and it'll put you in an underwater tunnel that you can swim through. Once you swim through it, you'll find yourself in sort of a secret room with this friendly looking dude standing there. Just another place to hang out in between rounds and to show your friends. And that, my friends, is going to wrap it up for this video. I just want to thank you all so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like so I know to make more in the future. Also, make sure to subscribe and comment down below to be entered in that shout out giveaway that I mentioned before. And if you never want to miss out on an upload, try hitting that little notification bell as well. Anyways, that's it for me. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!